you I am back and you guys have requested again and again about what I think about the cello playing of the actress Jenna Ortega from Wednesday the new series on um, Netflix everybody's talking about it everybody's been watching it and there's a lot of cello playing because she's a cellist in the show so I thought I would do a review and kind of like you know just like reaction to her playing and maybe in doing so we can learn a few things about what we can do in, as cellists and how we can do better so let's take a look <coughs> Just one little note, I noticed that she is playing like this Wednesday and I know maybe she's just acting, but just FYI, if we go like this when we play, is big trouble for the neck. It can cause a lot of tension. So just be careful we, when we look at music, because I see that she's looking at her music. When we look at music, we don't want to go like this. Very bad for the neck. So. Always make sure we're sitting nice and tall. We don't need the neck to play. All right, so this part is really good, the way she's doing it. But, you know, if I were to give her any advice to make it look even more realistic, because a lot of you asked me if she actually played. You'll find out as I tell you. When we play, we don't want to go like this, especially fast notes. Fast notes, we always want to use from here to here. This kind of motion to be quick. Whatever it is, <laughs> right? So, and uh, so I see a lot of tension and she's holding it like this and it can be a little bit awkward if we do it like this. And that, there also needs to be a little bit of flexibility here when we play especially when you're crossing strings, but she did a really good job when she's crossing strings. It looks very, very good as she's crossing like this. By the way, she has learned to play the cello, I heard, for two months before filming. And it's really impressive that, you know, she is looking like she's playing all the notes. Obviously, the audio track is done by a professional cellist um, because, and I'll tell you why in a second, why I think so. So let's just keep watching for a second. All right, so this part, I could not figure out for the longest time what they're doing with the audio. I think there's some Hollywood studio magic here because it sounds like it's pizzicato, but it also sounds like it could be slap. So like this is slapping. I guess it could be this. It could be this, or it could be this. But that doesn't sound, you know, it's really hard to make this sound clean because I did actually a cover of this and everybody in the comments were like, why didn't you do the pizzicato? Why didn't you do the plucking of the strings? And I was like, yeah, because it sounds like crap when I try to play it. Not very clean at all. Or maybe they did the slapping thing. This. But it's like, it's going so fast. It's really hard to make this clean like this. So my guess is either they did it like this, which doesn't sound exactly what's in the audio, or they recorded it separately, once with the bow and once with, with plucking, and then put it together to create this kind of sound effect. That's what I'm guessing. But in the actual video where the actress, uh, Jenna is playing, it looks like she's just using the bow, right? what she looks like so my, my guess is that like I said it's most likely two recordings combined or they probably just some um, computer generated sounds it, you'd be amazed nowadays like they can make the computer sound exactly like an instrument like a cello so maybe there's some of that too so let's keep watching <laughs> So this part, 
da 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 this part I guess it's 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 technically playable. I don't know the exact notes. I don't have the score with me by the way. And again, everybody's asking me um the score because I did a cover on TikTok and Instagram and I'm like actually I just did a bite here. But this part I didn't do this part because it's so hard and also it goes by so fast so I didn't really hear all notes. But this is extremely extremely challenging and I could probably I probably could have done it but it would have taken me like at least a week to nail it down um, and practice a lot for me to put it on social so I didn't have that kind of time so I was like all right well I'll just do it I just did a version of that but um, it's much more intricate and it's it's difficult Now this part I don't know the exact notes, but it's something like that. But it's definitely what we call double stops when we play two strings at the same time. And in the video, it shows that she's only she's not really playing in exactly the right spot. Again, this is a great part where she is doing and it shows her hand. Something, something like that. And it's so you really need to have flexibility in order to do that. With fast notes, again I talked about using your uh, forearm, but also you have to have flexibility. Like her her hand looks a little tense going back and forth, but um, well, certain clips she looks tense. This clip she doesn't look as tense, but there's some clips I see her tensing up like that. So it's better to do this so you have that flexibility so you can go back and forth between strings. That's again the hard part, it just repeats itself. Oh! Can we talk about this one? This part! Okay, I'm sorry. This part, I 100% believe that... <laughs> like, if I were to play it like this, it would be like... Because it's going from the high register to low. This is definitely done in the studio where they combine uh, a couple of takes. One, just playing the high part. And then this not possible to play this so it shows her playing this is not actually humanly possible even yo-yo ma the best cellist cannot play this <laughs> like this is it's crazy so hollywood magic right here for sure yeah two parts right here also two parts same thing da -da 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 almost impossible. No, this part maybe is possible if you practice, but it's still like not really humanly possible. Only Wednesday can do it, but then of course you didn't. This part sounds a little bit like Bach, doesn't it? I think they're trying to copy Bach. I love how the music just goes in and out. Like this is showing the other clips and then they put the music down and then when when Wednesday shows up again, she, they put the music louder. So it shows them like listening to the music. That's kind of cool. And she's typing on a computer and she hears the music. And she's like, ah. <laughs> now she's back. Okay, this is the part. Da 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 da. <laughs> Maybe something like that. Okay, so, so this is where you can tell she is not the one who's actually playing because her fingers are right here. This, um, this part requires thumb position. The thumb has to be involved to play all these crazy notes. Da -da 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 -da. I don't even know the exact notes, but I don't know what it is, but for sure, she, it would require thumb, thumb position to play all these notes. 
Um, and she, her fingers are right here. So, and also, what's this music? Let's take a look. The, with the with the thing, the hand. That's definitely not that piece. Get her head is protruding. That's actually box suite number one. But that's what's in the music. Of course, another classic, classic cello. Um, now here at the end, this is how it should end. Now this is what we call kind of blocking. The guitar is called blocking when you have one finger putting down on two strings or more um, in order to produce chords. These are chords, right? More than one note at the same time. And her finger is clearly just on one note, so or one string rather. So she's, um, you know, not really playing the right notes correspondingly. But I have to say, you know, I don't want to be too harsh because I think she, I'm not trying to criticize her. Oh, and her vibrato. <laughs> she was doing this vibrato. This is a very common mystic, especially for beginners. Okay, so I talk a lot about that uh, in my Cello Mastery Academy, uh, which by the way, um, we just had a launch and if you want to apply for the next launch, which is going to be in 2023, I'll put a link down below. Now when we talk about vibrato, uh, we never vibrate like this, which is what she's doing. And she's vibrating very slowly. She's like, and also for one note. And it looks like that, vibrato looks like this, but actually, it's really the motion of up and down. Unlike violinists, I think some of them vibrate with the wrist, if I understand correctly, but cello vibrato is completely different. And here, uh, a lot of people, when they see videos of people vibrating, they have the misconception that it goes side by side like this. That's what it looks like, but in fact, what's happening is our arm going up and down like this, and then in doing so, because our hand is relaxed enough, it has a slight rotation that is as a result of the arm going up and down. So um, I have a vibrato course in my academy. If you apply, when we open again, you can um, definitely take this course on vibrato. And I have actually a video on vibrato right here on YouTube as well that is free. So you can check that one out as well. But overall, I think that um, Jenna Ortega really did a fantastic job. I'm not trying to criticize her, but I just, you know, because you guys all asked, I wanted to give a perspective from a cellist point of view of how she has done, which I think is phenomenal for having learned only two months before that the positioning correctly for the most part um and then trying to imitate playing the actual piece i think is really kind of amazing what she did and also to point out some of the uh, unplayable parts that is definitely hollywood magic and i did make a cover of this that is quite close it's not exact because like i said some parts are not even playable um and i did it by ear so I don't have the, the score or the music sheet for it, but you can check it out down below as well. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope this is fun for you. Let me know what you think of this series. Let me know what you think about um, the music and uh, Jenna Ortega's performance of playing, how she did, anything. I would love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe right here, right here, right here, right here. <laughs> subscribe now. Okay, I'll see you later. Mwah. Bye.